Next up for your review for your Algebra 1 Semester 1 Final is the idea behind domain and range. Uh, remember, a domain is just a list of all of your inputs, so it's the list of the inputs, or it's a list of the things that you control. Sometimes you'll hear them called independent variables, right? And a range is a list of your outputs. It's a list of all the possible answers that you could have. So looking at this problem, we have customers that pay $5 for a basket and then 10 cents for each apple, which is kind of unfortunate for customers. If they show up to the apple orchard, they have to pay 5 bucks for the apple or for the basket, and even if they don't like any apples, they're out the $5. Okay? So, it tells us we have a function that gives the cost for x apples picked what is the range. Well, breaking this down, this is the $5 you paid for a basket. Here's 10 cents, and it's 10 cents for each apple. I think logically that would make x maybe your number of apples. Right? And then our answer, after we do all that math, this is going to be the total cost that we spent. So breaking this down, the thing you have control over is the inputs. The thing you can change, you can change the number of apples that you pick. So number of apples is the domain of this problem. Whereas the range is a list of the outputs. The outputs are the answers. That's the total cost. So let's think of what could happen here, right? If you look at your domain, we use braces to list individual numbers. The smallest amount of apples you could pick is zero apples. You could also pick one apple or two apples or three apples or anything like that. The corresponding range, if you pick zero apples, imagine plugging zero into this equation, we would spend five dollars. If you picked one apple, that'd be five dollars plus ten cents. Two apples, five dollars and twenty cents. Three apples, five dollars thirty, and so on and so forth. So this is our list of our inputs, the number of apples. Our range is the number of outputs. Uh, they're asking what's the range of the function? Well, it looks to me like D.